it's gonna be bully time. Pag-usapan natin kung ano yung mga behavior ng ating mga kids at home. Lalo na sa mga kids who are toddlers, 3 years old, 4 years old, 2 years old. So these are the things that parents needs to know about responsible parenting. Okay. Um, I know for sure na maraming mga, mga nanay ngayon na mga bata pa na in their 20s na minsan um, you're, you're struggling on how to be a good parent for your kids. Okay. Uh, if you're in your early 30s, there are some of you probably who are still struggling kung papaano nyo i-disiplina yung anak ninyo, especially at the very young age. So, may nagtatanong sa akin, when is the right time to start disciplining your kid? Right now. Right now is the right time. If your kid who is seven months old, if your baby is seven months old right now, nine months old, eight months old, ten months old, throwing food away while you're feeding your baby. That's the time you're going to start disciplining your kid, your child, okay? Uh, how are you going to discipline an eight months old, nine months old throwing food? Remove the food away. Tell your kid, oh, oh, hindi ka pwedeng magtapon ng food. Put the food again. Pag nagtatapon uli ng food, remove the food again. That's how you're going to start engraving into their brains na, oh, Pag nagtatantrums pala ako, if I throw away food, tatanggalin na mami yung food ko. So, I have to behave. So, yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon on how we can discipline your kids. Okay. So, alam ko sa mga sistema kaugalian natin mga Pilipino, may mga rewarding tayo sa mga good behaviors, may mga gifts tayo pag good behaviors, na o oh, pag Pag, pag naglinis ka ng toys mo, or if you put your toys in the box, you're gonna get a cookie, okay? So, we have to ensure na we are giving rewards only for good behaviors. Mm -hmm. Hindi yung may mga nanay na behave na behave yung mga bata dahil laro lang ng laro ng games yung bata sa computer or sa gadget nyo. Nakikita ko to every day. When I tour around in the Philippines, I go to the malls, I I go to the market, I go to... Nakikita ko yung mga nanay, bising-bisi -busy sila sa sarili ng cellphone, yung mga anak din nila, bising-bisi -busy din sa sarili ng cellphone. Of course, they're so well-behaved, they're sitting in their cart or just doing their own thing. Is that a good behavior? Na you're luring your kids with that gadget para lang mag, mag behave. Years ago, we managed to to control the behaviors of our kids. Walang gadget, walang TV, walang gadget, walang radio, walang lahat, walang ang pagkain eh. But we managed to, to, to help them control their behavior. Ngayon, iba na eh, they are so dependent on an instrument, a tool to tell them to shut up, to tell them not to cry, to tell them to do their jobs because ito yung kamaliang ginagawa nating mga magulang. That is not responsible parenting. Responsible parenting is giving a reward for good behaviors only. Okay. Uh, how how is it going to happen? Pag toddler mo matigas ang ulo, Pag yung 3 years old mo, hindi nagliligpit ng toys. Be a role model. Bago ka matulog, during the night, start collecting. Always put a box, cardboard box, dun sa gilid ng sulok ng bahay mo. Before going to bed, kailangan yung toys na yan ay nasa loob ng box. That's how I did my son. Before you go to bed, make sure you clean up your mess. Dahil if you're not cleaning up your mess, Matatapakan mo yan when you wake up in the morning na sarado pa yung mata mo and then you 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 hurt yourself dahil nakakalat lang dyan sa, 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 sa sala or sa kwarto mo yung toys mo. Put it away. When you're doing, when they're doing good behaviors like that, then you can reward. You can even, kung, kung maarte ka talaga sa mga rewards, stickers or ako or pagtimpla mo ng, ng hot choco or, you know, 
you can cook good food for them o paborito nilang mga pagkain kung kaya ng bulsa those are the good rewards for good behavior hindi yung uh, ini-ignore mo yung bad behavior tinatakpan mo lang yung bad behavior and you are not able to fix it paglaki at pagtanda ng mga anak nyo doon kayo nagkakaproblema ng matindi okay um, avoid rewarding bad behavior minsan you have to uh, limit um, the the rules kung ano man yung rules mo sa bahay mo or when you're outside in the house for example uh, let's say you're visiting a friend doon sa bahay ng friends mo pagdating doon sa bahay ng kaibigan mo nagtutumalon itong anak mo doon sa couch nagwawala nagtatapon kung ano-ano doon sa sala nakakahiya because again hindi mo tinitrain, hindi mo siniset yung limit ng behavior ng anak mo habang nasa bahay ka pa. Okay. This is what you're gonna do. Pag let's say may pupuntahan kayong party o may pupuntahan kayong kaibigan na hindi kayo mapapahiya kasi nakakahiya talaga ang behavior ng anak nyo pag hindi nyo nakokontrol. Kasi sasabihin ng mga tao, tingnan mo itong mga magulang na to, napaka irresponsible, hindi kayang i-control ang behavior ng mga anak nila. We need to be responsible parents. We need to do responsible parenting. So, how you gonna set the limit? So, sasabihin mo, okay, we're going to Kumareng Mariang House. Never touch anything. Do not touch anything. You just sit there and you, 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 you tell me if you want to do anything, okay? Wag kang, wag kang, wag mong galawin yung hindi dapat sa iyo galawin. Okay? Do not do that. Don't do that. Over and over and over again. Over and over again. Sasabihin mo yan. Do not touch. Do not do. Do not misbehave. Dahil pag nagmisbehave ka, hindi hindi na kita ipapasyal. Hindi na kita dadalhin dun sa bahay ng kaibigan mo pag nagmisbehave ka. When you do, a, when you set a limit like that sa mga anak nyo, kahit sa bahay nyo, na minsan, uh, hindi sila gumagawa sa trabaho nila, hindi nagtatapon ng basura, hindi nag-aayos sa kwarto nila. If you don't set limits doon sa mga bad behaviors nila, tuloy-tuloy ang gagawin nila hanggat paglaki nila. At doon kayo mahirapan. Doon din sila mahirapan. Because, paano pag wala na tayo? And that they don't know anything right na tinitrain natin when they're young. So, it's always good to uh, start now para medyo mawawalan ma, mawawalan tayo ng sakit sa ulo when they when they're growing. Another thing that's very important though is um active listening. Minsan kasi pag nagdidisiplina na tayo sa mga anak natin, minsan hindi na rin hindi din natin sila pinapak pinapakinggan. We have to learn how to be an active listener for our kids. Let's say for example, itong bata niyo, itong toddlers niyo, 3 years old or itong uh, young kindergarten yung anak, nagwawala sa kusina. Nagwawala, nagtatapon kung ano-ano sa kusina. Pinapagalitan nyo ng pinapagalitan, minsan napapalo nyo. But you really did not ask, bakit mainit ang ulo ng anak nyo? Baka yung anak nyo gutom. Baka yung anak mo kanina pa nag naghingi ng ganito, you're not listening because you're just too busy with your own thing, with your own gadgets as well. So, when you do, do active listening sa anak ninyo, naapektuhan yung relationship sa anak nyo, minsan kahit may problema yung anak nyo, hindi na lang nagsasabi sa inyo. Kasi you don't listen. Puro na lang ikaw bunganga na bunganga. So, it's always good to do active listening. Hear them. Look at them instead of looking at your gadget. Pag nagsasalita yung mga anak nyo, harap-harapan, go face to face. My eye contact. Wag yung nadidistract kayo kung ano-anong ginagawa nyo. Sit down, have a face-to-face -face talk, eye contact sa anak nyo. Dahil doon yung malalaman kung anong feeling ng anak nyo. Frustrated ba siya? Sad ba? Because if you're distracted with so many things, nagsusumbong yung anak nyo, hindi kayo nakikinig, hindi nyo, you don't pay attention, 
the next time, hindi na magsasabi ng mga, ang, itong mga anak nyo sa mga problema nila. Kasi hindi kayo nakikinig eh. So, it's always good pay attention, avoid any distraction, find a way on how we can fix, find a solution, fix that problem. Dahil, pag hindi nyo gagawin now, later on, ang anak nyo magiging teenager, ang anak nyo magiging binata o dalaga, doon na sila mahihirapan mag sa sarili nila, especially if they're on their own. Napapansin ko sa mga bata ngayon, kulang sila sa communication dahil puro na lang gadget ng gadget. Hindi na sila marunong mag-start mag ng kwento. Hindi na sila marunong makipagsalamuha kung may mga adults man because again, mali din ang pagpalaki ng mga anak ng mga, mga parents because of this stupid gadgets that we have na Puro na lang ganito, puro na lang ganito, for, for hours and hours, puro na lang ganito. Hindi na nagagamit yung bibig ng bata. Hindi na nagagamit minsan yung utak ng bata, critical thinking skills. Kasi yun ang hinahayaan natin sa mga anak natin. We just ignore it. Sasabihin, oh, mataas naman ang marka ng anak mo. Yes, mataas ang marka, but your, your anak don't know how to talk. Don't have communication skills. Don't have critical thinking skills. Kasi they all depends on their gadget. Sasabihin, oh, masipag anak ko mag-aral. Yes, there are so many masipag mag-aral ngayon. But they, they don't even know how to communicate. They don't even know how to talk in public. So, iyan ang kailangan nating future ng ating mga anak. Magiging professional sila someday. Ang taas nga ng grade. Hindi naman marunong makipagsalamuha. They don't know how to socialize. They don't know how to talk. They don't know how to even build a conversation. Because again, we don't discipline them. We don't teach them how to be a good, effective communicator. Now, without gadgets, without anything, yun ang problema ngayon sa ating educational system. Kids have poor reading skills. Kids have poor communication skills. Kids have poor reading comprehension. Hindi na intindihan yung minabasa because again, of this screen. Ito lang yung screen na nakikita ng mga bata. Itong gaming screen, itong TikTok, TikTok screen, itong lahat-lahat na. Screen! Yun lang nakikita ng bata. Hindi na nakikita yung tunay kung anong nangyayari sa paligid. On how you can make decision, how to communicate, how to, 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 to be creative, to be motivated. Nakapasa nga sa school, hindi naman marunong mag-develop mag, mag ng communication. Sinong mali? Not responsible parents. Non-responsible parents. We need to be responsible for our kids. Because when they grow up, may sarili silang pamilya, may sarili silang anak, ganun din ang mangyayari sa mga apo nyo, sa mga anak ng anak nyo. If we are not teaching them right now at home, kung ahayaan natin yung mga teachers lalang lagi ang nagtuturo ng dapat gawin ng mga anak natin, sobrang-sobra ng workload ng mga teachers ngayon. If we're not helping at home to, to do responsible parenting, kawawa ang mga guru natin. Kawawa ang mga educators natin. So parents, this is your chance kung maliliit pa yung mga anak nyo. Do the right thing. Do the right parenting. Dahil kawawang-kawawa ang mga anak nyo pag wala na tayo na hindi nga marunong mag-communicate. Hindi nga marunong magsimula ng kwento. Because again, ito, screen na to. Itong screen na to ang laging nakikita nila. So we need to do something about them before it's too late. Dahil sa experience ko, there are so many professionals right now, nakikita ko, namimit ko, who don't even know how to start a conversation. Because again, nobody taught them. Thanks for watching. Please do your comments. Um, tell me what you think about this episode in my blog. I need to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.